Yeah, I'm uh, just uh, starting to make some schnitters, so I thought, um, while I'm at it, why don't I um, make a scrambled egg at the same time sort of thing, so, you know, um, get our breadcrumbs here for a schnitter. Usually that's what I... I don't know what it is about making schnitters, but if you use two eggs, it's never enough. The three eggs always seems like a little bit too much. You can't really buy half an egg, can you? So, you know, we get our... Um, so this is... You do your, your usual uh, three eggs. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a separate one in a bowl here. And we're going to scramble it. Because, I don't know, I think I'm having a bit of trouble out there, outside. In the real world, with our... Um, that's right, they can do. So with a fork and maybe three eggs. I don't know if we can get this. Yep, there we go. Yeah, I haven't got the lights on because I'll be going outside after I've got this prepared. And if I have the fluor lights on here, it goes all all sort of blue outside. And uh, yeah, I just do the single one here. And um, doesn't have to be fantastic fellas, because it's just gonna go into one of our milk bottles. But uh, then we get our you know our glass wrappers polyethylene. And we're just going to. Oh gosh, now we've got a bit like there. And we'll put it over there. Now, with normal two or three eggs, it's usually about uh, three minutes in the microwave, so I don't really. I think three minutes is what it's going to be. And then we'll just sort of take this out if it is three minutes. Microwave is absolutely fantastic for making. Scrambled eggs, the best thing they do. Because it's probably going to prove me wrong now. One, two, three. So while that's going on, we can continue to. Uh, and have a look. So, uh, we'll be back on now. Yeah. So basically, uh, first of all, you need flour. Cheese, where's my flour? There's my flour. Then you get your normal plain flour. It doesn't really matter if you use plain flour or self raising. So you put your flour in here. Move the camera there, haven't I? <laughs> okay, you put your flour in there. You always seem to use more flour than you think. You know, you always have some left over, basically, what I'm saying. Is then you have your, um, so you have your, your flour. Your uh, beaten eggs, I'll put these in the bin. You probably put them in a compost or something. The question is if those uh, shells are calcium, is there any calcium in the um, in the actual uh, in the egg? Is that what the problem is with the thing outside, which I'll show you shortly in a minute after we've done the hard boiled egg? So I'm just going to get the good knife and then we're going to. Uh, Find it. And we'll just cut this up into our pieces or then I might just do a demonstration model with one or two sort of thing and we just slice them sort of thing. So I think before I push that off the edge of the table with my arm. And um, then you can just sort of beat them out into your nice Fill it sort of thing, so there's three. You're trying to get, for a family of three, you're trying to get to six if you can. So, and any rubbish there you can use in your pots, you know. You know so, anyway, see what we can do with this one. Slice this one down the middle, and we can have small, two small ones. So, basically, you get two big fillets and a, and a small one, which is 
bashed out a bit. So let's get the old bash out. If we can find it in here very quickly, which we probably can't, but uh, we'll see. Normally, always the way with the basher. That's it, you can't find it. You can't find oh, there it is. Okay, so we got the old basher, and uh, we'll see. So yeah, now you want to make use of both both ends. Yep, I think we. And you do this, but then you also use the fine one, and you'll you'll have much better results if you use a combination of both the. and the fine one so you'll get much better results so basically what you do then is you rub um, yeah you, you put it in your flour like that so I mean, I'm just doing it across here because it's just for demonstration purposes so I think and maybe I'll bring the camera down where is it uh, down out there You get your egg yolk here and you I turn it over twice basically. And then by doing so then you take it into your breadcrumbs. And then you put it onto your plate that you normally have toweling on, which I haven't done yet because I'm not set up for that at the moment. I'm so I'll put that to one side. I just wash my hands and very quickly and uh I can smell the uh, hard boiled egg in there, so and have we got it. How hot is it? Do I need to hold it with a just so we can have a look at it? Yeah, there we go. Nice hard boiled egg. Which, uh, well maybe I'll take it out in the sun. You better see it better and see what I'm talking about. So I think it's only a 11 minute clip, but uh, yeah, we're gonna have a, like a, a 40 degree day tomorrow, and I'm not sure whether this is starting as a slightly pink uh, when the sun's not on it, it's sort of, mm, not sure. So we'll see how we go. The uh, Sarah there's on its uh, Tuesday today, it's on its, uh, 40, 50, 60, 70, 18th day. End of the week, it'll be three weeks or 21 days. So it's not bad for being ripped out of one of these commercial pots. You know what that the commercial pots are like, you know? Normally you try that and they collapse on you, lose all their leaves. You know, they've been sitting in the bloody... Uh... There we go. That makes pretty good scrambled egg to a certain degree. I think that's too long for this one. Yeah, that's too long, but at least it's scrambled egg now. And, and I can hold it. Oh, it's very light. That's because I, I think I've zapped it for too long. Anyway, maybe it should have just been two minutes. But at least we've made some scrambled egg sort of thing. And it's good enough to put into a pot, cut into pieces. Mainly I'm doing this because this one over here, as far as I know, 